Hey everyone, Brian and Jeff with WorkshopAddict.com and we are taking a look at Rugged Maid's Rugged Splitter 22 ton push through log splitter. Now we've been using this for a little while trying to get used to it. So we're gonna run you through how this unit works, what you're gonna get when you get everything together and also some tips and tricks as to what we do to use it and possibly some things you wanna do if you're gonna trailer this thing long term. So first when you get it, there's an assembly uh, instruction YouTube video that you should watch on Rugged Maid's channel. This is assembled just like you would have it on Rugged Maid's channel and you'll find that it's a little awkward. Left-handed? Yeah. That's what I think throws a little bit of a twist into this because most times we would run the log splitter just as you're looking at us right hand here we'll push things through instead you're on the other side what you can't see over here is that we have a log lift log lift which to me should be on the other side also but so you have two controls here one that's going to control the log lift up and down which does lift quite a bit we had one of our buddies on here and it's able to pick him up no problem so it's it pretty stable too he was bouncing on it and there was no tip issue or not no, and I think that's if that's something that you want to deal with on this log splitter, it's meant for 18 inch logs and under. And it does come with a wedge so you can split into four pieces or whatever and it removes and comes on and off pretty easy. And it only goes on one way. But if you're gonna continually not wanna lift logs up, roll them on, this works great. If you're the type of person that isn't gonna use it, don't order it, order right. it without it. You can use this as a right-handed model, saves you some space. And for you guys that are used to running it with a right hand, it's not gonna throw you off. No, I, I fully agree. This is available with two different engines, a pull start Honda, and it's got a Raven with electric start. We have the Raven with electric start. We're gonna give you some tips on trailering that, this engine specifically in a little bit. Something else that's different with this model is that it's a push through log splitter and you don't see that a lot in the stores. Explain to me what you actually mean by a push through log splitter. Okay. Here, instead of having a wedge, we just have an item that pushes okay. and we push the log through the wedge and it splits. Instead of pushing the, the wedge way. through the log. Right. That's why our log catcher on the other end is efficient so that you're not dropping things and having to bend over and pick them up. Yes. When we used to build them back in the day when we were kids, this is what this, we built. Yeah, this is right? what I'm used to. We didn't call them push through, we called no, it a log, log splitter. splitter. Right. right. The new ones that we went with now, I guess this is their push through terms, which I like this style a lot better. A, maybe because it's what I'm used to, mm -hmm. it's what you're used to. Exactly. And B, if you do get a log stuck down there, like you, we were talking before, if a log's stuck and you can't push it all the way through. Back it up, put another log in there. Keep you push. keep going. It doesn't fall on your feet. There's nothing in the way. It's it just does a nice it job of catching. So this is, this is the style that we're used to. And this is a style that if you're out there looking for one, I think we'd recommend. Yes. Comparing it to some of the other models on the market, it does sit a little higher for you tall guys like us. It's a little bit more ergonomically correct. Right, Rugged Maid says this is waist height. For shorter people. Shorter people is, yeah. yeah. We're 6'4". Yeah, so. It's, so it's not quite waist height to us, but either way, I like the unit. As far as power goes, staying 18 inches under, I think it's got the power. It does real good with a clean log. When it gets into knots, it labors a little bit, but it, it does go through them. And that's something that they will warn you about if you have green wood or a lot of knots in this. It, this model is really not meant for wood like that. It's meant for clean, smaller pieces. You have a 24 inch um, stroke. stroke here. You have a two and a quarter inch rod and a two speed pump. So your two speed pump's gonna give you about a 12 second full cycle forward and back. So when you're trailering this model, you'll have to take this log catcher and twist it up around and mount it to the wedge. You can't have the four-way wedge in there. You're gonna to have to throw that in the back of your truck. Or strap it somewhere else, yes. In this model, there is a small shim that you're gonna to have to wedge in between. And if you're gonna use this long-term, drill it, tap it, weld it, do whatever you wanna do. Stop the shim, it's just something else to fumble around with and it's not worth it. But once it's up in position, it's fairly sturdy to trailer. Yeah, real sturdy. Second, 
We've gone through one battery on this unit already in the time we've had it. The battery tray is pretty clumsy to say the least. So you want to just go down and... I mean, there's not a whole lot there. Going it's, down the road, it vibrates. While you're there, it's vibrating. It's too big for the battery itself. The strap is too, too big. It doesn't hold it in there. So if you do this a lot, come up with something else for the battery tray or buy the Honda model that's pull start, whatever you need. Third, this is a breather valve down here. So going down the road, somehow the air will suck some of the hydraulic fluid out. Take a WD-40 cap, push it on, Problem no mess. Solved. No muss, no fuss. <laughs> other than that, you'll find if you try to switch this log catch to the other side, you won't have room for the hydraulic hose and you'll end up reaching over and using the wrong lever to run the cylinder. If you don't want it, take it off, bolt it together. If you don't want it, don't buy it. I mean, it there is a, a simple cure. If you do want to switch it side to side, buy a bigger hose. This hose is about a half inch too short to swap it out. Just get a different hose. Yeah, go with that. Other than that, this seems like a good unit. It comes with fenders, smaller tires, two inch ball, pretty much a decent unit for the price that you got. It's very stable with the jack on the front of this being the tripod like that versus other ones that are just a single leg. And there's a lot of warning stickers on here. It's fun to kind of read them, but you're not supposed to travel with this unit over 45 miles an hour. I don't know how many people That's really go with that, but sense. I've seen them flying down the road once or twice and they bounce around, but it does pretty well. If you're looking for something that's going to do a little bit bigger than this, you can also look at the larger models that they have. Other than that, guys, we'll show you how this thing works. Watch some of this going through. See if this is something for you. Leave a comment below for us. Let us know what you're thinking. Thanks for watching. Give us a like in this video. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Have a great day.